Hey everyone, my name is Demos Rosalie and in this video I'm going to be showing you how you can take photos and time lapses of the stars using the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra. So welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Demos Rizzoli and I'm a photographer and designer based in Sydney, Australia. In this video, I'm gonna be taking you through step-by-step -step on how to do astrophotography using the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra. This tutorial can be applied to most of the newer Galaxy flagship models that have the Expert Raw app, either built into the camera app itself or as an external app you can download. If you want to learn how to do this using a Galaxy phone that doesn't have the Expert Raw app, I've previously made a video about this already, which you can find the link to in the description below. All right, so let's get started. So in order for you to get the best results, here's a checklist of the conditions and equipment you ideally want to have for when you go and do astrophotography. Number one, you want to limit the amount of light pollution you have so you get brighter stars. This means that you should go quite far away from the city and you also want to shoot when it's a new moon during the moon cycle. For example, for the photo shoot I went on, my friends and I drove about two hours south of Sydney to a place called Bombo Quarry where the light pollution was quite minimal. And we also went on the third day of the moon cycle, so the light coming from the moon was not very bright at all. Number two, another condition you ideally want to have is a clear sky. This will ensure that you can see as many stars as possible without any clouds blocking the view. Number three, in terms of equipment, you definitely need a tripod so that your phone can stay steady and not move at all for the duration of the exposure. Any tripod will do, but I'll link the tripod I use in the description below. Number four, a nice camping chair is also useful if you want to do astro time lapses, as these can take a long time to do, like a minimum of one and a half hours. Number five, I also recommend bringing some torches and lights so you can not only see where you're going at this really dark location, but you can also shine the torch at the foreground to get a bit of foreground details in your photos. Number six, and last of all, it's always nice to go with other people so you can keep each other company and help each other out while you're taking the photos and time lapses. All right, so now you know what conditions and equipment you need, let's talk about how to actually shoot photos and time lapses of the stars using the Galaxy S23 Ultra. Let's first start with photos. It's actually very, very simple. So once you have your phone set up onto a tripod, you wanna open up the camera app and then click more and then expert raw. For phone models that don't have expert raw built into the camera app, you can try to download it from the Galaxy Store for free. Once you're in expert raw, first I recommend going into the settings on the top left and for the safe pictures in setting, I like to turn on raw and JPEG formats. And in Expert Raw Labs, I make sure that Astro Photo is turned on. All right, so now going back to the main Expert Raw screen, you wanna click this button at the top to activate Astro Photo Mode. When you click it, this menu will appear which will allow you to hide or show a sky guide. This lets you point to the sky and see a digital representation of what star constellations and planets you're pointing at. Then you have the option of picking the duration of the exposure from four, seven, or 10 minutes. I recommend 10 minutes to get the best results, but if you don't have much time, four minutes should work as well. Next, I turn on the two second timer to make sure that there's no camera shake when you press the shutter. And I like to use the wide camera as well, as this camera has the best quality sensor with the highest aperture and megapixels. Finally, just tap the shutter and wait for 10 minutes. You might not get the right composition after the first try, so experiment and do some test shots. You can use your flashlight so you can see what the camera is pointing at, and you can also use the four minute option so it's quicker to test out different compositions. You can stop the shooting at any time, so even after one minute, you can stop it and see if you like the composition or not before continuing with the final 10 minute version. So when you're taking a 10 minute shot in this mode, it actually doesn't mean you're taking a 10 minute exposure that will give you star trails and movement. But instead, the phone is using advanced AI segmentation and multi-frame processing to give you the best image possible. It's essentially capturing 10 minutes of light and information to create the best quality still from the moment you press the shutter button. And so after waiting 10 minutes and trying different compositions, here are my results.
Alright, so now you know how to shoot photos of stars, let's move on to showing you how to do astro time lapses. For this, you want to change the camera mode to hyperlapse mode. For the settings at the top, I like to shoot in UHD, which is 4K, to get the best quality. And then set the recording time to infinity, so you can keep shooting for as long as you want. And finally, on the top right, I change the speed of the recording to this 300 times option. When you turn on this 300 times option, it gives you another option here on the bottom right, which you can leave off or turn on. If you turn it on, the phone will automatically capture light trails instead of individual dots moving in the time lapse. Finally, all you have to do is press the shutter button and wait. For this, I recommend at least shooting for about one to one and a half hours to get enough footage. Here are the final results from my shoot. So that's it for this video, I hope you've learned something new and if you've enjoyed it, please consider liking and subscribing and stay tuned for lots more videos coming soon. As always, thanks so much for watching and remember to always push your creativity to the next level. Bye!